What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ, the Boston Bruins, yet again. Uh, taking a little bit of a tumble, and this time, uh, you know, losing to a really good Ottawa Senators team that's that's hot, right on nipping on their heels. They're now up two points on the Senators, and the Senators have a game at hand. And uh, it's definitely uh, not the most ideal situation for the Bruins. Uh, I gotta admit, I loved seeing uh, Curtis Lazar eat that cheeseburger off the. Uh, it's probably not the most healthy thing. Not only is the cheeseburger not that healthy, but um, you know, picking up the ice, but you know, is what it is. I, I could eat burgers all day. Cheeseburger is my favorite, one of my favorite food items in the world. So if you want to know, what, if you if you ever take me out to dinner, I'll um, I'll go with a, a burger and fries, if you know, steak or something a little classy on the menu. But Bruins have 11 games left in the season. Ottawa has 10. And this time last week we were talking about the Bruins. Oh, they can overtake the, the Capitals. Da 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 da. Instead, they're you know, they lost to Washington. Lost to an AHL team in the Buffalo Sabres, and then you know losing to Ottawa has just been a uh, a really really rough go of it. And, you know now they're going down to South Florida. The Panthers aren't as much on their heels anymore. You know the Panthers are kind of falling off it, but you know it's still not an ideal situation. Uh, you know if they're going to lose to the Panthers and Lightning, they're falling out. They're out of the playoff picture, and that's a scary proposition for a team that looked like they were world beaters, you know, a few weeks ago or a few days ago even. You know, they caught fire. Oh, they're, they're peaking at the right time now. It's like, oh, Ottawa is, uh, isn't going away. And, you know, it's just become uh, a really rough go of it. So, you know, I think the Bruins are going to step things up going forward. Riley Smith had an atrocious game. Um, you know, he's going to put that behind him and, and move on. And, uh, you know, hopefully for his sake, he's able to do that. Because uh, with David Krejci coming back in the next couple weeks, he could fall out of, you know, he could see himself in the press box. So, definitely, you know, standing a little time for Riley Smith. Uh, not too mad, upset with, um, you know, I, I think Tuca probably could have played a little better. But, you know, the defense in front of him didn't give him a whole lot of help. Really disappointed Dennis Seidenberg in the last six, seven weeks. Uh, really just playing some atrocious hockey. Um, you know, that's just, that's it. I uh, love that first line, though. Spooner must really love playing in his hometown. Must have uh, mom's hometown cooking uh, because, uh, you know, he's, what's he got, four goals in two games in Ottawa, something like that. So that that's definitely a, a good, you know, sign. I, I like the way him, Lucic, and Pasternak competed all night. Um, you know, I, I love Pasternak. He's their best 18-year-old player since Patrice Bergeron. And given the fact they're only 18-year-old players, last couple years have been Bergeron and Tyler Sagan in the last, like, 12 years. Um, you know, because Castle was 19 his rookie year. Uh, you know, that's, that's that. So... Um, you know, not exactly the best situation for the Bruins to be in, so they got to uh, bear down and uh, try to get through the next few weeks without falling out of it. Because if they miss the playoffs and the Celtics make the playoffs, it'd be a really weird spring in Boston. You know, one of them's supposed to be a contender, the other one's supposed to be in Lotteryville, and it's like, oh, that's why you play the games, right? Anyway, that's why I got to split up the power play with CJ and the Boston Bruins falling to the Ottawa Senators. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.